surgery is around the corner Let's and go. we wanted to help you guys out with our top 10 habits that we think you guys should incorporate into your daily life and these you are just... guys are about to crush oh, yeah. 2023 and I know you guys got big goals as do we so we want to share a little bit of that with you guys yep these are just some things that Josh B and I have been doing for a while and we feel like it helps a lot and um, a habit tracker and keeping track of our habits is something that we're very passionate about we even incorporate it into the move app which is amazing yep. so that's why we want to talk to you guys about our favorite habits and starting off with number one go ahead Josh B waking up early now I know so many people out there are probably like oh I'm not a morning person like they're just making a bunch of excuses and I used to do the same thing I used to be that guy like yeah. oh like I cannot wake up early but you need to just incorporate in your life like take the steps to start waking up early and set like things for success to wake up early like, like if reward yourself set of rewards if you're waking up early and you're going to the gym like pack your gym bag put your outfit together like I put my outfit together that way I literally just wake up and leave so I can you just gotta make life possible yeah you gotta make life easier. easier like getting up early every we all know it's like oh it sucks like but if you tell yourself you're gonna work out in the morning and you have like your bag ready your clothes ready like literally you gotta roll out of bed and just put it on you're ready to go you just made the step that much easier and you're less likely in the morning to be like eh I'm tired I'm not gonna do it don't snooze it either I also feel like it's really important to like find the perfect time of early because like I know sometimes Joshua B and I would wake up at like 5 30 and go do a workout and stuff and what I realized is like yeah I get a lot done but then I would always have to take a nap or I was like dead tired and I felt exhausted during the day so I realized I was like okay 5 30 is like too early for me so I tried like 6 30 around that time and I feel like I don't have to go back to sleep I get enough sleep but you still gotta get enough like, sleep it's not like I'm saying go to bed at 1 in the morning and wake up at 5 30 like no, but it doesn't some, work like that it's more so like find your find your happy medium of like what time works best yeah. for you and honestly maybe you're sleeping until 10 or 11 and maybe even 8 30 or 9 is early for you if it's earlier than what you're doing that's already progress and the good thing that I think about waking up early is that you get so much more done in the day and you feel like so much more motivated and productive that it just helps fuel every other goal that you have in your life so that's it's just important like you start doing something good at, like off the bat you know like you start mm -hmm. rewarding you start yourself the off the bat start with the win and like the rest of your day just like it just snowballs mm -hmm. all right guys the next one is to plan your day ahead of schedule or ahead of time we do this actually every Sunday so we have a habit of doing it every single Sunday because I feel like when we do this we have the best week because we have it planned out we have more time for like fun things like freedom not like freedom but like non-work things it like, just takes away the guest more free time you know it's like you wake up in the morning you're like oh what do I have to do today and then maybe you forget something or you forget a couple things and then like it comes like 5 p.m. and you still have a lot more stuff to do whereas like if you do it we do it on Sunday but like if you're starting out you can just do it maybe the night before and you're like oh I have this this and this tomorrow like I gotta do this and it just set yourself up for success like you wake up in the morning instantly like you wake up early you know like you said you're gonna do it and then you start completing like the tasks that you need to get done for the day you have a plan yeah and plan another thing action. alongside that is like planning out I would say also writing goals I put that in the same category huge, yeah. because writing goals is so important and I think that helps you have a vision of like why you're doing what you're doing and it doesn't matter what your job is like let's say you're working at McDonald's like let's say your goal is to be the manager or something like every single position that you're in can have a higher up goal or for something for you to work towards and then it makes it that much more enjoyable for whatever your job is let's say you do work at McDonald's but you hate working at McDonald's but then you have a goal and now it's like you have a purpose for doing that because you're trying to get to your goal so no matter what job or what you're doing there should always be a purpose and a goal that you're striving for fail to prepare prepare to fail is exactly. what they say and it is so true I know for us in our experience like we've noticed a huge tremendous oh, yeah. difference when we actually like take the time and it might suck in the beginning like even for our other company we schedule out a month in advance and like that takes like an hour or two hours three hours sometimes but it's like it just takes so much off your mind when you have that mm -hmm. mental clarity you have like this whole thing scheduled out already you have a lot more freedom okay the next one's so important because it's something I think it's good to have a daily habit of and that is taking your vitamins and not just any vitamins in specific we really love our Let's ritual go. essentials for women Come on. and then you your love boys got the essentials for men obviously I feel like that's not necessarily to say but <laughs> but no we, we seriously just love our ritual vitamins so much the thing I love most about ritual is the transparency is at the core of everything ritual does 
does from the way nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of materials used to ship thousands of orders. It's also vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and contains no added sugar. And it contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. They also have a men's multivitamin, 50 plus, prenatal, postnatal, kids, and teen vitamins. They also have an essential protein range and symbiotic range. And there's a mint tab in every single bottle to keep your vitamins really fresh. Ritual is also gentle on an empty stomach. Better health doesn't happen overnight, and that's why Ritual is actually offering you guys 20% off your first month. So that's 20% off one month's worth of vitamins or protein if you guys use our code up on the screen and then also click our link down below. All right, guys, the next habit is going to be working out three to five times at least a week. And the reason we believe this is because when you move your body, you're not just doing something for your physical appearance, you're literally doing something for your mind. Like, I feel like so much you're, better. You're just gonna feel better about yourself, mm -hmm. it's gonna increase your mood, and every time I, I I work out like I just feel more positive about myself I feel like I just it's endorphins I think you get from working out and a lot of people ask me always they're always like how do you get the motivation to work out and for me it's like setting a goal and a habit of making sure you do it let's say I'm gonna I'll tell myself start small like let's be like okay three days a week I'm gonna work out and every let's say it's Monday Wednesday Friday I do that and I hold myself accountable for those days even if it's a 15 minute gotta workout be dedicated you got to do it but you, you do not do skip it. you just you have to do it you if you say you're do it, you have to do it. People always think like people that work out all the time or like people that are fit like or only love going to the gym. Like this morning, I did not want to go to the gym. No. Six in the morning, I was tired. Oh, I wanted no. to sleep in. Like the last thing I wanted to do was go work out. The first thing but I wanted to do is stay in my bed. As soon as we did it, like got there, we just hit it hard. And when we were done, like we felt so good and mm -hmm. we've crushed today, got a lot done today. You have to think of how you're going to feel after the workout and like what you're doing for yourself is more than just your physical appearance and like you're literally telling yourself you're gonna do something and you do it and I think so making confident. working out is a habit it's not something you just do yep. if I worked out like once a week I would barely even be able to work out once a week if that makes sense no it'd be hard because it's not a habit yeah for, for us it's a habit now so we mm -hmm. just we do it we so now it. I feel like it feels weird if I go a day and I don't work out I feel like something's missing yeah. and it's like I'm okay with taking a rest day but it's like I actually sometimes look forward to my workouts or how I feel okay. during or after my workouts that I, I miss that you know and this one this next one has been hard for me but like I forced myself to do it this year and I'm like super glad I did it and it's the first time I've ever done it even mm -hmm. though I've been telling myself over the past years I was gonna do it is reading I even actually if it's just a that. couple pages a day or if it's one page like Katie said it's like if you start building a habit like even if you just pick up your book and literally read one page or just start mm -hmm. with one paragraph even like that's gonna start that habit and then maybe the next couple times you read more pages and or then maybe, it's just gonna snowball into more. Maybe you're gonna get intrigued by the book and keep reading more than that one. That's what happens to me. Thought. Like I never thought I'd start reading a book and be like, oh my gosh, like I don't wanna I like this. stop. I don't wanna put it down. Like I wanna keep reading. Exactly. But like it excites me and I, and I like what I'm reading. Like definitely gotta get something you enjoy reading. And I feel like reading's really good for your mind and your brain and it's just it's a good habit, especially to get off your phone. It kind of like forces you to do something other than scroll TikTok. Yeah definitely because honestly if I don't do that like what I do instead of that time I set aside for myself to read is scroll, scroll social my media and honestly yeah I don't know I just rather read mm -hmm. next tip write down affirmations daily and gratitude so gratitude is basically just three things that you're grateful for it doesn't even have, have to be three, three things you could write down one thing but i think it's good to do that often because then you realize how lucky and blessed you are because it's True. like sometimes i think life goes so fast your schedule can get so busy that you forget to be like holy crap like i can walk and go get water like i have fresh water available i have food at my table like there's so many little things that i think we always overthink and it literally just puts you in such a good mindset for the day and it, i feel like it just makes you an all-around better person because it's like the way you treat people is different yep. the way you look at life's different the way you work is different you look at it it's not like i have to go to work but i have an opportunity to have to, a job you get to yeah go. you have you get the luxury of it and then the other one is affirmations because you need to do like self-positive talking mm -hmm. so you gotta write affirmations about yourself even if you don't want to because i feel like people can be so negative on themselves i was like i'm so fat i'm ugly i'm this i'm that like people are so mean to themselves and if only they like 
loved themselves, like how other people love them and see them, like just the difference yeah. it would make on their attitude, their outlook on life. I just feel like their overall confidence would be so much better. But if you're telling yourself that, you're gonna start to believe you're it. You're putting yourself down. You're, that's so negative. It's almost uh, like- Who would wanna do that? Yeah, it's almost like if you're like in a bad mood and you like force yourself to smile, like you do instantly start to feel better. Like you can't help but to works. like laugh or something. All right guys, the next one is eat healthy. Mm -hmm. And I know that's so generic and anybody could say it, but it's like, you know, with that, you gotta start taking the steps to eat healthy. Fill the fridge with healthy mm -hmm. food, not bad stuff. Like don't buy the unhealthy snacks that you're gonna eat. Like don't have it around and it's gonna make it harder mm -hmm. to go be unhealthy and go eat unhealthy stuff. Same. And if you spend your money on healthy food or food in general that you have in your fridge, it's like gonna stop you from going and getting pizza because you're like, I spent all this money on food. Yeah. Like I need to eat it. Set yourself up for success with the food that you buy. And also remember like eating healthy doesn't mean you can only eat vegetables and only eat healthy. It means to make healthy choices, like create a healthy lifestyle. And I, a rule of thumb I always kind of like to go off of is like eat like two out of three healthy meals at least because that way, you know, you're at least like having two healthy meals and one that's not so bad. But obviously like the goal would be three healthy meals, but like don't be so crazy strict on yourself. Like enjoy life, enjoy food, but just make small choices every single day. Like let's say it's cake. Okay, maybe have a little bit less than you would normally have or maybe say no to some things, you know, but it's like, don't cut everything out because it's not healthy, you know? The next one we have is drink water. As you saw, I just mm -hmm. did. Drinking water is huge. And we personally like to say, drink at least a JD jug a day. You yes. know, that's like half a gallon of water. My ultimate goal for myself is a gallon, but you know, you gotta start and do what's right for you. Drinking water helps with literally everything. So drink your water. The next one is make a healthy juice. And this is like a personal one so, for both of us. This is something that I've recently liked to do. If you do have a juicer, I think it's really healthy because you it's get a whole bunch definitely, of- definitely, it's not the easiest, you know? It's not the easiest, but I like it. It's one of my habits that I have on my Move app. So that's why I wanted to share it is because like, I do like juicing and I think they taste really good. And I always feel really good because I'm getting a whole bunch of kale and different things. And that's, it just makes me like happy to do that. So that's one of my habits I wanted to share. But not every, I don't think that's a really common one. But another thing you could trade out for that is like eating vegetables or something that's- Or even taking your vitamins your or- Or even taking your vitamins, for instance. Mm -hmm. And number 10, this is one I think is super big. And I think your 70 year old self will thank you for down the line in life is stretching. Yes. Like, and honestly, stretching has so many good benefits. But like for me personally, the biggest one is you sleep so much better. If you just stretch like literally three to five minutes before bed, it's you so will fall asleep. I'm pretty sure it's like scientifically proven like faster. I know it's so hard to like get in a routine, but just makes do it like before you get into bed every single day. 100%. And it, it is hard. Like that is something that you're really good about. I'm okay about. I want to be better. So this year that's my like that's something I'm really gonna be working on is making sure I stretch every single time before I go to bed. Yeah. That's how you um, make make a habit for yourself. You just do it connect it with another habit. It's like okay, yep. like if you brush your teeth before bed, which I hope you do every night, or whatever it is, like whatever habit you already have, like you just tie it to that. Like you don't brush your teeth until you stretch. And yeah, like, that's a good way. Like for me. Because you have to brush your teeth, yeah. but you're like, okay, no, I have to do this before I do yeah. that. Like I don't get into bed until I stretch. Like I, it's almost, I have gone to bed, obviously like you, I'll miss a day here and there, but it's like almost feels wrong to, to like step in bed without stretching. Like I can't do it. So make sure you guys are getting your stretches in, but that is pretty much everything we have. Um, Those are our top like basically habits. I guess you could say like almost like you could use them as new year's resolutions, but they're more so like habits that you want to create in your life to just live a better life. And 2023 is going to be your year. Let's go. I also just want to remind you guys to check out Ritual. We will leave the I link down below. below and use our code for 20% off. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love you guys and we hope you guys have Bye. an amazing 2023. And we'll see you guys later. Peace.